What's going on everybody? This is Ultima I Device Vids, and today in this video we're going to be checking out 35 free iOS 13.5 tweaks. All the tweak names, sources, and video timestamps can be found in the description down below. Multiple Light adds a music widget right to your dock. As you can see, you could perform a specific gesture, in my case it's swipe up or swipe down, then you have access to playback controls and now playing information right from the dock area. And of course, if you guys head over to the settings for this tweak, you can determine which gesture you want to use in addition to some other options. Siri Light will get rid of Siri's normal dark blur, going for a much lighter blur appearance. Folder list allows you to make applications within folders display in a list view, as you can see right here, that you can scroll up and down, and of course to launch apps, you just tap on them as you normally would. And of course, if you guys head over to the settings for this tweak, there's some options to configure. Quick markup allows you to access the markup feature when editing a photo a little bit easier. So normally in iOS, when you select edit, you have to select these three dots at the top and then select markup. But with this tweak, it just places it right at the top here so you could just access it easily with one tap. Color My Battery will change the color of your battery indicator based on the current charge level of your device. And of course, to set this up, you want to head over to the settings for this tweak. And in addition to some other options, you have the ability to determine what color will appear for what percent levels. So as you can see right here, I'm currently at 92% and my battery indicator is green. So you can see here from 91 to 95%, it's set to green. And of course, you can change any of these colors just by tapping on the percent level. Home Bar Media Progress will turn your home bar into a progress bar for any media that you currently have playing. For instance, as you can see here, if I skip ahead in this track or skip back, the progress is reflected on the home bar. And of course, if you guys head over to the settings for Home Bar Media Progress, there's some options to configure. T9 Dialer adds T9 dialing support to the iPhone phone app. And if you're unfamiliar with what this is, basically it allows you to use the letters on the number pad of the phone app to search for contacts. For instance, I could search for test, again, using the letters. And as you can see right there, it allows me to easily locate that contact so I could dial them quickly. And of course, if you guys head over to the settings for T9 Dialer, there's some options to configure. Settings Tweak Life will make it so whenever you launch the settings application from a closed state, it'll always go straight to the tweaks section so you can easily configure your favorite tweaks without having to scroll down to the bottom. Bar Emoji allows you to easily access your favorite emojis. There's two different places you could place the quick access bar at the bottom of the keyboard like so, or actually at the top in the predictive text bar. And of course, all of this and more can be configured inside the settings for the tweak. Basic Dock Hider allows you to either change the opacity of the dock image on your device or just hide the dock image entirely. So as you can see right here, you can still see that blurred dock image. However, it's less apparent because I have the opacity reduced. However, this tweak also allows you to completely hide it if you want to. And of course, you can configure this all inside the settings for basic dock hider. Once again, you can hide the dock background completely or change the opacity. Better Widgets gives you a ton of customization options for widgets on your device. As you can see, my widgets are transparent. The header text for the widgets are gone. Also, the search bar is hidden, even though it's still accessible with a swipe. And of course, to set this tweak up, head over to the settings for Better Widgets, and there's a ton of options to configure in here. Hide Your Apps allows you to hide any application from your device's home screen. Now, of course, these applications will still be accessible through Spotlight Search, but they won't show up on the home screen. And of course, to set it up, head over to the settings for the tweak, and then you could select the applications that you want to hide. I'm going to hide the App Store in this example, and then just respring to apply the change. And now, as you can see, the App Store is completely hidden from my home screen, but once again, I can still access it from Spotlight Search if I want to. Let Me Scrub allows you to change the color of the media scrubber on the lock screen slash cover sheet area in the control center to any color of your choice, as you can see right here. Once again, it works in the control center as well. And of course, to set this up, head over to the settings panel for the tweak, and you can configure the color in here. No badge allows you to hide all the badges from your home screen app icons. However, it also has a blacklist feature that allows you to blacklist certain applications so you could still have badges for specific apps. No lock blur will completely remove the blur effect from the passcode screen, as you can see right here. 6LS brings the classic iOS 6 style lock screen to your device. As you can see, you have the old slide to unlock mechanism, notifications are customized, and of course, you have the the old style camera grabber where you could swipe up to access it. You could also swipe on the notifications to open them right up just like you were able to do in iOS 6. And of course, if you guys head over to the settings for this tweak, there's some options to configure. Siri TTL allows you to set Siri to automatically dismiss itself after a specified amount of seconds when it's in idle mode. So basically when it's not listening to you or when it's not speaking. And of course, to set this up, head over to the settings for Siri TTL and you can configure your amount of seconds. So for this demonstration, I have it set to four seconds. So now whenever Siri's active 
and it's not listening to me and it's not answering a question, it will automatically dismiss itself after four seconds, as you can see right there. Dock Be Gone 13 allows you to completely hide the dock from your home screen. Now, if you want to be able to access the applications that are within your dock, you should move those applications from the dock to your normal home screen before enabling this tweak, because of course this tweak once again completely hides the dock. And of course, inside the settings for the tweak is where you can enable and disable this tweak. Haptic Buttons allows you to add haptic feedback to when you click your volume buttons. And of course, inside the settings for this tweak, there's a few options to configure. Notif will show you everything that's in your cover sheet every single time you lock your device. So as you can see right here, if I lock my device, all the notifications that I have are available here. Of course, normally in iOS, once you unlock your device, all those notifications will only be visible when you swipe down from the top like this. But with this tweak, again, every time you lock your device, all the notifications that are unread that you have will always show. So, so this can be handy if you find yourself often forgetting about notifications because it'll always remind you whenever you lock your device and then wake it back up. Music Be Quiet will automatically pause any music that you have playing on your device as soon as you adjust the volume to 0% using the physical volume buttons on your device. And then as soon as you increase the volume above 0% using the physical volume buttons once again, it will resume the music automatically. Normally in iOS, when you scroll from left to right on the app drawer in the Messages app, as you can see, the bar expands just like that. However, if you don't like that appearance, as you can see here, small message app drawer removes that effect. Status Weather Light places the current weather conditions right where the carrier name would normally be in the status bar, as you can see right here. Swipe Shift Carrot allows you to easily move your cursor through text just by sliding on the screen, like so. What's the date allows you to set the timer status that appears on the lock screen to automatically dismiss itself after a specified amount of seconds so you could see the date. And of course you can determine the specified amount of seconds in the settings panel for the tweak. Wiggle dots allows you to tap and hold on the page dots at the bottom of the screen to enter edit mode on the home screen as you can see right here. Auto hide home bar X allows you to make the home bar on gesture based iPhones disappear when deemed not needed and then reappear when deemed needed. For instance, when you open up a new submenu in an app, it'll appear, and then it'll disappear, and then of course when you exit back out from that submenu, it will then reappear. However, if you head over to the settings for this tweak, there's also an option called Always Hide that will just completely disable the home bar if you want to do that, in addition to some other options as well. Auto Brightness Toggle CC Support allows you to add an Auto Brightness Toggle to your control center as you can see right here. And this tweak is an add-on for CC Support, so if you guys don't already have CC Support installed, this will automatically install it for you. And then when you go into your control center settings, just make sure you add the Auto Brightness Toggle to your control center. Shortcut Enabler will add the flashlight and camera shortcuts from the gesture-based iPhones to the iPhone 8 and below, as you can see right here. And if you guys head over to the settings for this tweak, there's a few options to configure. Normally in iOS, when you use the Reduce Transparency feature, it doesn't allow you to determine what specific elements within iOS will be impacted by, it just enables it for everything. However, with Dusky, you're able to determine what specific elements of iOS are going to be impacted by Reduce Transparency. For instance, as you can see here, I only have it enabled for widgets and notifications. And as you can see here, that is the case. My widgets have that effect, my notifications do. However, elements like folders that normally would in iOS be impacted are not because again, this tweak allows me to choose what elements are impacted by reduced transparency. And there's also some other options as well. No dictation will remove the dictation button that's normally present at the bottom of the keyboard on gesture-based iPhones, as you can see right there. Normally in iOS, on devices that have a 3D touch display, you're able to enter trackpad mode on the keyboard by 3D touching anywhere on the keyboard. However, if you want to disable 3D touch being able to invoke trackpad mode, no 3D cursor will do that. Binary numpad replaces the standard passcode digits on the lock screen and the phone number pad buttons within the phone app with these nice dots. And of course, if you guys head over to the settings for this tweak, there's some options to configure. Pigment will change the color of your notifications to the color of the app icon that the notification came from. It'll also change your now playing interface on the cover sheet and lock screen to the color of the album artwork of the music that you're currently listening to. And it'll customize the widgets on your device based on the color of the app that the widget is associated with. And if you guys head over to the settings for this tweak, you can configure the vibrancy of the color in addition to what options are colorized. Remove 3D options allows you to hide certain elements from the quick action menus. For instance, as you can see here, the delete app, edit home screen, and share shortcuts are gone from all of my applications, as you can see right here. And if you guys head over to the settings for this tweak, you can determine which options you want to hide from the quick action menus. All right, everybody, that wraps it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.